Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to test and, if needed, repair an Ethernet cable. So these are pass-through data plugs. They're the kind you pass through and then you cut them off with this kind of crimper. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test the cable line. And this tester, it's a Scout Pro 3, it comes like this, and you just take the bottom off, and the, the bottom is called ID1. And you plug that in to one of them. Okay, and you plug the actual tester into the other one. Okay, so you got both ends going there. Turn it on and put it on network. You see the five and six and the six and five are flashing. You see it says ID1 and that's uh, this right here, that's ID1. It says fail. So we do have a problem. And it is number five and number six are mixed up. A good place to start our troubleshooting is to examine the wiring of the pass-through data plugs. This is a close-up of the side of the Klein pass-through modular crimper that I'm using. And I am using the T568B RJ45 wiring diagram. So I'm starting with the white orange and then the orange and the white green and so forth. I think it's great that they put them on the side of their tool for reference. And you can look at it, you can see the blue and the green are right next to each other, which is incorrect. So I, I, I pull down the strain relief boot and then I'm just gonna snip it right here. Okay, pull this back some more. Use my tool right here. A once around, take it off, break the sheathing. And let's see. Okay, here's here's the divider and the pull cord. Okay, we we'll get rid of those. Alright, so let's untwist these. If they don't come right away, use this little piece of jacket and just twist it down. There you go. Okay, so the proper way to do this is white orange, get nice and straight, orange, get nice and straight, white green, get straight, blue, okay, then white blue. You see, we had. We had green coming next right after the blue, and that was wrong. Okay, then green. Okay, that's where the green goes, right there. Okay, then white, brown, and brown. So they can straighten that out. Get another connector. These are pass through data plugs, Cat 6. Okay, put the spring down, put that right in there, put that right on there like that, make sure we got it right this time, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown, okay, yes, yeah, correct. It started raining outside, so I had to move inside. Now. Uh, carefully put this through here so you don't bend up any of the wires. Carefully put it through there. And out the other side. Don't bend anything. Okay. And here we go. All right, so now we're going to retest it. And I'll put one end 
on the Scout Pro 3, right there, one end on what they call ID1, right there, and for the moment of truth, okay, I'll turn it on, IDC's ID1, turn it to network, pass, put the light on, okay, pass, ID1, everything's lined up, everything's good. So that's how you troubleshoot one of these lines and fix it. So now we're going to test it for power over Ethernet. So now I have this cable plugged into an Ethernet switch in one of the PoE slots. And then into the PoE tester here on the Scout Pro 3. So now we're going to turn it on. Turn the light on, and I'm going to test PoE. It tests at 47.1 volts PoE. So that's an excellent voltage. Uh, we kind of like 48, but 47.1 is great. So this is a good cable. Not only did we troubleshoot and fix it, but we tested for power over Ethernet. So that shows you how to fix up a uh, situation with a bad wiring job on the data plug, but what if your cable has been damaged? What is, if it's been clipped or snipped or a little screw went through the edge of it or something like that happened? Uh, how do you troubleshoot that? Let's find out. You see, this cable is cut about halfway through right here. So on here, I have pressed the length button. The length button will tell you where a problem is in a cable. Okay, so there's there's eight wires in this. Okay, so this is about a two foot long cable right here. Okay, so wires seven and eight are okay because it says two feet. Now if I press uh, this arrow button right here, we go to um, wires number one and two which is saying it's one feet long. So the problem in wires one and two is at one feet. And you see that it's right here at one feet. So that's the problem area. That's how you know where to go fix your cable. And you press it one more time. Uh, three and six is again two feet. So three and six go all the way through. So that is your length function. It's a two foot cable. It's telling you it's two feet long. And it's telling you that there's a problem uh, at one feet. I'll put links in my video description for the Klein Scout Pro 3, the Klein Scout Pro 2, and I'll put a link for the Klein Probe Pro, which is sold separately. It expands the capabilities of the VDV testers, but it's not included uh, with them. And I'll put a link for the Klein Ratcheting Modular Crimper, and the Klein non-ratcheting modular crimper, which is a little lighter and a little cheaper. Uh, I prefer the ratcheting one. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.